Hello, this is Prophetess Sherita Berry, and I was challenged by Prophetess Ethel Buchanan to do a scripture challenge. And um, the challenge I'm going to do on today is Songs 105.37, and it says, He brought them forth also with silver and gold, and there was not one feeble person among their tribe. And what I want to focus on is feeble. And what God brought to my spirit on last night is um, he dropped this back into my spirit on last night. And what he was saying that when he brought the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, he brought them out with silver and gold, but also he brought them out and none of them was sick, None of them were feeble. None, they, there was no disease, no infirmities, no ailments, no afflictions. They was healed. So that means if when God brought them out, they were healed, delivered, set free. Um, they, he brought them out well, with wealth. And it was at that moment... If you begin to read throughout the Bible, you begin to read in the book of Deuteronomy, um, you begin to read throughout the Bible, it was at that moment when the children of Israel begin to turn their face from God, when they begin to turn their back from God, when they begin to worship other false gods because they became impatient. Remember when... Um, <clears throat> They were in the wilderness for 40 years and 49, 40 years, and they wandered around the wilderness. And when Moses went up onto the top of the mountain, and he be, he was up there for a long time, and the children of Israel began to go grow weary. And I'm talking about they begin to turn. That was at that moment they begin to turn their back from God, and they commanded and they push Aaron to make them a golden calf and they begin to worship that golden calf. They begin to turn towards that golden calf and all of a sudden sickness and infirmities begin to fall upon them. They, they fell into sexual sin. They fell into idolatry. They s fell into sexual immorality. They fell into fornication. They fell into adultery. They fell into sin. When they begin to turn their back on God. See, when God brought them out of the, of the land of Israel, there was no feeble among them. There was no sickness. There was no sin that was among them. They had silver and they had gold. But when they were waiting for Moses, they melted down all that gold. They melted down all that silver. And they began to make a golden calf. And see, you got to remember, all throughout the Bible... That when the children of Israel began to turn their back on God, and then God began to, God sent a prophet to declare his word to the children of Israel. And then it was at that very moment they turned their hearts back to God. They repented. They fell down on their face and they cried out to, the, to God to, to, deliver, uh, to deliver them. See, when God brought them out of the land of Egypt, there was no sickness, no feeble. They had silver. They had gold. They won every fight. They won every battle. But the moment they turned their back on God, they begin to lose the battle. They begin to lose uh, uh, um, the fight. They begin to lose the war because they turned their face from God. So when God sent a word into the camp, into the people from the prophet, glory to God, they begin to repent. Their heart turned back to God in the name of Jesus. So this is my worship, my scripture challenge for today. And I hope that this bless someone. Remember that God brought you forth, hallelujah, with gold and silver. And when he brought you out, there was no feeble among you. There was no sickness. And every battle, when he brought you out, you were going to win every battle. So don't turn your, turn your back on God. Turn your face towards him. Turn your heart towards him. Let him heal you. Let him raise you up. Let him make you old. Let them make you over. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.